Now, one of the things that I pointed out earlier was that grief creates stress. That's one part of grief that I didn't take seriously at first. I didn't understand grief very well. The first time my, my, when my first wife died, my first experience with uh, what we call deep grief, and the pain doctor and also healthstatus.com uh, as of 2016 uh, points out that the top stress producers uh, in the Western Hemisphere include and they, a lot of people are hard, hard pressed to push one uh, more worse than the other one, more difficult. Uh, but the death of a spouse is listed many times as one of the top ones. Um, public speaking, believe it or not, is another one that's very, very high on the list. And, and if you don't think that that's the case, it just if I were to just suddenly be able to be in front of you and hand you a microphone and says, here, stand in front of 1,000 people and talk for an hour, what would that do to your to your blood pressure. Well, a lot of people, it would go way, way high. So um, public speaking is considered one of the highest um, stressful things for many people. Uh, not for everyone, but for the average person, that's, it's listed that way, believe it or not. Another one is the death of a child. Now, we're going to be talking about children and death in a future session. It is very severe. You can't categorize it. It's a, kind of a grief all of its own, but it's listed right up there as one of the top producers of high stress in the grieving category. Categories. Another one is the death of a parent, and of course that depends on a lot of things, age and the relationship with that parent, but the death of a parent is high, high stress. And then of course another one in this day and age that we live in now, it, being in an active battle in war. Now these are, these are just what's listed in these websites as the top stress producers uh, in our normal experience. Now that's not to say, of course, that it's very stressful if you find yourself the last few seconds of a, of a crash, uh, airplane crash or whatever, that's very stressful, stressful, stressful even to the point of some people having heart attacks during those, those events. Uh, that's not, um, we're just talking the, someone who's going through the grieving process as a result of being in these scenarios. And it's very high stress. And so it, oftentimes understanding that grief does create emotional and physical stress. It, sh it should help us understand the depth and even how to cope yourself and how to help someone else who's going through the grieving process, realizing that whether they've identified it or not, they're under a lot of stress right now simply be because they're grieving, particularly at this level of these being some of the highest stressful grieving events uh, in, our, in our culture today. So very, very significant to keep that in mind, and I didn't realize personally that that was the case myself until I found myself enthralled with the grieving process and uh, realizing, looking back, that some of what I was feeling was just not the emotional pain, it was actually the stress on my, my body and my system as a result of that. So with that in mind, just to establish the importance of dealing, even the physical importance of dealing with grief well and understanding how to deal with grief, uh, paying attention to the fact that grief is often the, the, gonna be there.